Hey, how's it going? Demon Driver here. Thank you for joining me once again, yet again. I'm grateful to have your time. You know, four or five years ago, when I started my YouTube channel, my RC channel, someone would have come up to me and said, Christopher, you know, someday you're going to have 3,000 subscribers, you're going to have 250 videos, and you're going to have, you know, 15, 16 airliner maidens and all these other things. I would say you're crazy. That's never going to happen. But here we are. And it's all because of you guys. I am absolutely grateful and touched and humbled by your views and subscribing to my channel. I am so grateful for that fact. You guys make this channel a reality. And um, upholding my end of the bargain, I am you know, doing my little part and whatever I can to help you guys with your RC scratch builds, your scratch build aircraft. And I want to make and help you make your, you know, the planes of your dreams come true and help you build any RC airplane you want, whether it's a Warbird, a bomber, a scale aircraft, an airliner, or even a spaceship, a science fiction styled spaceship. You're seeing that more and more from me. Uh, get used to it because I'm going to be doing a lot of um, sci-fi related stuff on this channel. It's going to become in 2015 one-third airliner, one-third warbird, and one-third, like, science fiction spaceships and other, you know, anime spaceships, um, you know, Jerry Anderson and American sci-fi. You're going to see a lot of that. But in this video, we are going to hotwire out of one slab of styrofoam an entire Fairchild Metroliner wing. The last one we did a, we actually did this... DO Dornier DO228 wing out of a heavier pink foam, right? Now that was the last video, and in that video, the wing moved, but the hot wire was stable and it didn't move. In this video, the wing is going to be stable and the hot wire is going to roll over the wing and on the stencils. When it goes round and circle, when it fly high like a bird up there. Will it go round in circle? Will it fly high like a bird up in sky? Okay, what you're looking at right here are the tail of two wings. These are two um, Fairchild Metroliner wings. One has been hot wired from heavier traditional um, blue foam, blue cord that. Um, that I have uh, made so many planes from, but a true fact of this um, foam is the fact that is an incredible. It, it, it's you know, as a foam goes, it's a heavier kind of foam, especially opposed um, in relations to styrofoam. This Fairchild Metroliner wing, hot wired from EP styrofoam, and incredibly light incredibly light now let me give you an idea of what we're talking about here this styrofoam wing might weigh three ounces this one is going to weigh 10 to 12 ounces both solid both exactly the same okay both exactly the same now up to this point i have been building planes in the standard way that I have, you know, with a fused tube and either a solid hollowed out blue or pink foam tail, nose and tail, and an older Depron wing and a, you know, just basically a mixture of um, blue foam and pink foam. But now, now I'm switching over almost exclusively to EP styrofoam and hot wiring, fuse sections, noses and then doing sanding and uh, getting it all together. Now this BAC-111 has a uh, molded fiberglass nose section, tail section, and um, that 767 behind it, Air Canada, the Gimli glider, has the same thing. Um, the 707 over here though is, you know, of an older generation. And like everything in life, you keep moving forward and you keep making improvements and I've had a, a tectonic shift in the way I build my RC aircraft. And um, 
really from here on out I'm no longer building in the older method so uh, you know so in this video we're going to go ahead and hot wire out a complete uh, Fairchild Metroliner wing and the wing is going to be stationary on the table but the hot wire bow is going to move across it that's the difference from the previous Dornier 228 video where I hot wired that wing and to be honest with you that was kind of a messy video and that technique is not exactly um, this technique is going to be better and you're going to get better results okay well, let's do the driver and let's get cutting let's uh, let's heat up our hot wire and let's get to it okay let's begin here um, what you're looking at here there is the hot wire bow and there is our two inch wide um, foam cutout styrofoam cutout of the uh, Metroliner's wing we're using clear tape to go ahead and mount, help mount the wing um, to the wooden table. It's basically a wooden um, hot wiring platform on top of a plastic uh, foldable table. So you put the tape on the bottom side of the wing cutout of your wing form. Make sure your wing is going in the right direction. Take uh, these heavy batteries here, these cordless batteries, and I use these to weight down the foam uh, wing. That way it doesn't move around and the hot wire can move. Now these are the cardboard airfoil stencils. These are what the um, hot wire is going to ride atop of. These are about one millimeter thick cardboard thick and strong durable and the hot wire won't burn the cardboard. So we go ahead and we tape these stencils straight to the inside wall of the um, styrofoam so that way the hot wire will ride the styrofoam. That's very important. So we go ahead and we tape those straight to the table and we have the weights weighting down the, uh, the wing. Now we do the outer airfoil, the wingtip airfoil, we put that out of the wingtip. Let me go ahead and do that. So both airfoils are now in place. And you notice I have the weights in the back half, the trailing edge half of the wing of the, um, of the styrofoam, and you're going to see why. That way the wire can ride down the middle of the cord of the wing, and then I can move it forward through the forward half of the airfoil. This is important right here. You always wear a respirator. Have to wear a respirator. That's a pretty pretty good respirator right there. It may eliminate 95 to 98 percent of the bad stuff. So we get take our hot wire bow. There we go. It's on and I'm just dropping it straight down, letting gravity work. You let the you let the wire drop right down to the hot wire stencil, the airfoil stencil. And there we go. Dropped all the way down and I slowly move it forward along the stencil top of the stencil. Hot wire bow is moving, wing is stationary. There we go. We just popped off the leading edge of the wing. Now I drop it down and I'm going back to do the trailing edge of the wing. And again, I let, I just let the wing, I let the um, hot wire ride atop the airfoil stencil. And I just let it do its work. And I just gently Slide it back along there. And you want to hold down pressure so that the wire is always riding across the top of the stencils. You don't want, if it bounces, you're going to get a ridge and a bounce in the, um, in the airfoil of the wing, and then you're going to have to go back over it again with the hot, with the hot wire. So there we go. It's the trailing edge. We're out. Let's take the weights off. There we go. Weights come off, and there we are. Have a look at that. Huh? Isn't that nice? We peel away the stencils, the airfoil stencil. Look at that. All one piece styrofoam. Take off our respirator. We don't need that. Make sure the hot wire is off. And there we go. Look at that. A little bit of sanding and maybe a little bit of spackle here and there, and it's good to go. But it's super light. 
I can tell you that right now. Super light. Yeah, baby. And uh, there we have it. There's our wing. All hot wired, ready to go.